Hi, this is Top Play Gear, and we're here with Vic, and Vic is going to talk to us a little bit about racquetball. And Vic, why don't you introduce yourself to uh, the racquetball community? Sure. My name is Vic Lebowski. I am the uh, co-national director of World Outdoor Racquetball, the governing body of outdoor racquetball. We're here in uh, gorgeous Holiday Park um, having our memorial shootout. Um, the memorial shootout is an annual event that we've had for the past four years honoring the players from this park that have passed on. Uh, we've lost a, a few very good friends, a few very great people in the past uh, four or five years and um, you know we've just felt it was important to honor them, to remember them and, and uh, have a party and have an event in their honor. The local sponsor is uh, Steve DeSalvo. Steve DeSalvo is of DeSalvo's Italian restaurants. He comes through for every single war event here in Florida without him. Uh, these events wouldn't be as much fun, they wouldn't be affordable, and uh, you know, we owe Steve a great debt. Also, 40 by 20, uh, the, the forums at 40 by 20 have supported uh, all the Florida events, and they've really come through and made us, uh, you know, again, help to keep affordable and, and given us prize money, and they've done a, a heck of a job. We really appreciate everything that 40 by 20 does. And Top Play Gear, you guys have come through for us this tournament, and we appreciate that as well. On a nationwide level, we've got two big events that uh, I'd like to at least talk about. Um, the National Championships, the War Championships in Huntington Beach is July 7th through 10th. Okay. And that those championships are the Racquetball Warehouse War Championships uh, presented by Echelon. Racquetball Warehouse um, is the title sponsor. Um, they have helped us grow that event to the... Uh, a tremendous level. I'm personally the event director of that event. Uh, it's July 7th through 10th in Huntington Beach, California. Uh, also, some sponsors of that tournament would be uh, One Shot Sports International, One Shot. Uh, what Sunwind does for uh, that event goes unnoticed by many, but I certainly appreciate it. And he makes, uh, you know, One Shot Sports is probably the biggest driving force to make the uh, the war championship successful and actually war since the very beginning. Um, 40 by 20 sponsors the war championships as well. And then just a couple of months later on a national level we've got the free wall ball championships in Las Vegas. Uh, that last year was the inaugural event. We put a, uh, we, we set up portable courts, nine portable courts in the parking lot of the Stratosphere Hotel. The Stratosphere Hotel is the uh, title sponsor of the Free Wall Ball Championships. They are tremendous to work with. They, uh, they, you know, they gave us the venue, they gave us great rates for the players, they gave us great hospitality all, all weekend long, but the Free Wall Ball Championships in Las Vegas uh, is happening again in September. It's going to be September 21st through 25th. And again, uh, the Stratosphere Hotel is the title sponsor. The uh, Racquetball Warehouse, again, is a big sponsor. One Shot Sports is a big sponsor. There's going to be uh, a number of more our sponsors. Uh, that one I'm not 100% sure of everyone coming on board again. But, uh, you know, Soda Man Cole and uh, Mike Coulter and Steve Lerner, the event director, are going to do a, a hell of a job again. Um, last year we had over $45,000 in prize money at Three Wall Ball Championships. And... Uh, you know, we're, I don't know exactly how that's going to turn out this year, but it should be bigger and better than ever. Great. Uh, it was historic. Right on Las Vegas Boulevard, we built nine courts in the parking lot of the Stratosphere Hotel. Excellent. So we're excited. Maybe I'm a little bit uh, prejudiced, but I, I really do think that outdoor is where the growth is going to be. Uh, outdoor racquetball, I think um, we're going to continue to double or at least half again every year. Uh, World Outdoor Racquetball membership and events have been going up by 50% each year, and I think that is where the sport's going. Um, you know, in the cold weather states, half the year, I, I think we're going to start seeing more and more people play. I mean, you, anyone who tries outdoor racquetball comes back. That's one of the facts that we know. Absolutely. You know, it's, it's a lot of work sometimes to get some of the, the indoor hardcore guys to give it a shot, but once they give it a shot, thanks kids, uh, once... Um, once you give it a shot, you realize that uh, you know, outdoor is fun, it's a barbecue, you can hear the music going on in the background, you can sit behind the courts and watch two or three games, uh, you can hear the, the players talking on the courts, you're smelling the barbecue in the air, you're smelling the delicious Italian food from the Salvo's Pizza in the air. 
uh, you know, it's a party, it's a picnic, and it's a, it's a weekend event. First off, before I go to this tournament, Angel Calderon was the first person to bring outdoor racquetball to, uh, to South Florida. He uh, was the first state director, uh, Angel Calderon, set the groundwork, did in the hard time, and he, uh, he kicked us off down here. And I, I really just picked up where he left off. Right now, uh, Hale Sakoff is the Florida State Director, and he is keeping the ball rolling here in Florida. Today, Mark Moppin and uh, Rob Maharis, two Holiday Park regulars, are the event directors today. We're all helping them out. Those guys knew uh, the gentlemen who passed that we're honoring with our memorial tournament. They, they knew them, they were great friends, and in their honor, those guys have picked it up and we're running a great event, and those guys are running a great event, and it's been, uh, it's been a blast. Vic, so uh, tell me, when did um, war come to South uh, to Holiday Park? Well, that's pretty funny. The, the first time they came to Holiday Park, most of the Holiday Park guys were off grid. Most of us didn't play indoors. We didn't play any other tournaments. We didn't uh, didn't know much of the outside world. Racquetball was right here, and this is what we knew. So when Angel told us, "Oh yeah, we, we got a bunch of guys from California going to come and play uh, in a tournament here." We were thinking, yeah, sure, there, we're not going to see anyone from California. We, there's no way people are going to come all the way from out of town to a local place like this. And, uh, you know, uh, Zeus and uh, Zeus O'Connor, Jesus Ustaraz, Robert Martinez, um, Rocky Carson, Rob Hoff, um, and I know there's a number of other guys I'm forgetting. Benny Bandana out of New York came. Uh, uh, Dave Tedeschi, all these guys from, from California and from New York and around the world, top players, came and, um, you know, I remember my first match was uh, was against Rocky Carson and Rob Hoff. So I went over to Angel and I said, uh, are they good? <laughs> they were national champions at the time, but it just goes to show how off the grid we were at the time. And uh, since then, obviously, we know who Rocky Carson and Rob Hoff are, and we do appreciate those guys coming out here and helping us kick it off, but it just goes to show where we've come. Um, since then, we've had Shane Vanderson, Mitch Williams, Rocky's been back. Uh, you the know, best of the best. The best of the best has come here through uh, this park and others, but you know, in that first tournament, none of us had ever been sponsored. We were wondering, wow, how'd those guys get all those matching clothing? And uh, you know, it was a completely different world from then to now. But uh, it was kind of funny because I remember, you know, my, my introduction to war here at Holiday Park was, go play Rob and Rocky, good luck. So uh, I guess I got to get Ro uh, Angel back for that one day. But you know what, it, it was great. And uh, ever since then, uh, this place has been the hotbed. Thank you. Well, Vic, thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate you. the time. And uh, the future of racquetball looks really great in your hands. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you very much.